Now once you have your GIMP software downloaded and installed and it's very straightforward, you're going to have an icon that looks like, well, a little GIMP guy. So you just click on that to open up your software. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way here. And I'll be referring back to this from time to time just to give you an idea as to what the element is we're going to be working on in that particular video. Well, let's go ahead and open up our GIMP software. Let me go ahead and move this into place here. And make our canvas area just a little bit bigger. Take up what space I've got. Now then, let's go ahead and create our image. Do that by going to New. And by the way, you can also create templates so that you can more easily create additional infographics as you go along. And this one's going to be 650 wide, uh, pixels that is, by 3,000 pixels high. Click on OK. And you've got other options here as well, but for the time being, this is all we need. You click on OK, and there we are. Now, this is not full view because that would be just bigger than what screen space I have to work with. This is at 25 percent. Now then you can also create those templates and how you do that is once you get it made come on up here to file, create template, and this little guy pops up, give it a name, click on OK and then let me show you what it looks like whenever you create that because I've already created one for this one. Come on up here to file, new, and right where we created our image you come up here to template, hit the drop down arrow these are the two that I've already created, but you can see these defaults that come with GIMP, so you've got plenty to work with right from the get-go. But that's how you can create templates as well. Now, what we're going to do in this video is simply add background color to our image. And as we can see here, this one is a gradient look where it starts off kind of dark blue and ends up a lighter blue. And this is just one way in which you can do this. You can have this as patterns where it looks like a you know, a slab of plywood uh, or you know, stones. I mean, there's just so many options you can work with here. How you do that is, first off, let's make our image full size. I mean, at this point, it will require me to scroll. So let's go back here so I don't have to scroll and, and go back to the 25%. And we want to come over here and click on the gradient or blend tool and this is how we can get that gradient look. Otherwise you can go to the bucket fill tool and you can choose the pattern and there's plenty of additional patterns in addition to those that are coming default with the GIMP installation. There are plenty of other patterns for GIMP online so feel free to do a search for those. Or you can use the foreground to fill and that would be just a solid color or the background to fill. And where these are located at? Right here. This is your foreground and that's your background. And you can change these just by clicking on it and this will change your foreground color to whatever you want and you can adjust this right here or if you know the hexadecimal code you've got other options up here you can use to change it even more detailed. But for the time being though we're going to go with the gradient look and my foreground color that's the dominant, the top color, the darker color is going to be this dark blue and my background is going to be this light blue. And then with the blend tool selected, come on up here to the top. And depending upon how you do this, if you do it at an angle, it'll have a different effect than if you do it at this angle or if you just do it straight up and down. Or if you do it from midway, however you do it. But play around with it. Enjoy it. But that's our background color there. In the next video, we're going to cover adding text and adding a little flair to that text.